Namaste. Today I am at the Art of Living Center at Kanakpura in Bangalore. I have heard that Kanakapura is a very very ancient place where thousands of years back our Rishi Munis, the Indian sages have meditated for many many years. And that's what makes this place so potent and divine. When you come here even as a tourist, you feel that energy surrounding all over this place. And especially here at the Art of Living Center, because of the grace of Gurudev, Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. Since my childhood, I have been to a lot of ashrams in India. And one thing that I've always noticed there, whether it was the Puttaparthi Ashram when Sri Satya Sai Baba Ji was alive, or the Brahma Kumari's Ashram at Mount Tabu, or so many other ashrams that I have visited or even heard of, like the Oneness Ashram at uh, Andhra Pradesh. The focus is always on the inner self, connecting to the higher inner self, and of course, meditation. And it gives me immense pleasure and joy that religion is never the focus in our ashrams in India. It's always connecting to your higher self and meditation. And today, my channel has been graced by none other than Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Ji, who has given me an interview and answered all my questions that I have put across for the spiritual seekers. Let's hope you find your answer today. Stay tuned. Jai Gurudev, thank you so much for gracing my channel. My first question to you would be that a lot of people wonder what is the purpose of their life. We heard a lot of people saying, why am I born on earth? Why am I you know, born on earth? What am I here to do? Would I be right in saying that one of the highest purposes of our life is to do seva unconditionally and not only to our immediate family members but to reach out to the entire world? Correct. Right. In this, there are two things. One is, if you keep thinking what I will get, what is the purpose of my life? I want to get, but what do I get? Even if I, after getting, where will I go? So if you are on the trip to getting something, it will lead you into depression and it will make your energy go way down. But if you say, look, I am here to give something to the world. I am here to be useful to people around me. What is that I can give to the world? I am going to be on this planet for a whatever number of years. Yes. So in this time, I have to give something back. So what I can do? If you go with this question, instead of what will I get to, what I can do, I tell you, your energy will be high, you will be a source of enthusiasm and a source of joy for others around you. In India and of course in the West, everybody has this you know, fear of nazar, buri nazar, evil eye in the Western countries, they, they call it. How does one keep our aura protected at all times? Oh, it's very easy. It's very easy. Buri nazar se nazar utarwa do. Jinnah nazar utarna bhi rakhte. We do that, just some salt. Take some salt around your head and throw it in the water. You know, salt has such a purifying impact on our aura. Salt bath is, is a common thing. You know, when you take bath, put some salt in the bathtub and those things are good. Oil bath, people oil. take oil, even that cleanses our aura. And most important is meditation. If you do meditation, it forms a covert. Then Om Namah Shivaya Mantra. Even if you sit and chant for five minutes, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. That Om Namah Shivaya mantra's vibration forms a shield around you and it prevents any type of negative influence coming towards you. Also, I want to ask if we have ever been initiated in any Guru mantra and uh, if the mantra and Om Namah Shivaya or any other mantra for protection are different, is that fine? That's okay. That's, that's, okay, okay. that's, okay, that's okay. You know, your Guru mantra, whatever you are, you chant that. That is fine. That is for you to go deep in meditation. Om Namah Shivaya is the general mantra which is for protection. Because it has all the five elements, 
it covers all the five elements which the entire world is all about so om namah shivaya is a very very uh, known ancient and powerful mantra to bring protection coming to uh, this one topic of astrology which i have been very intrigued by and i've also learned very little uh, abc of astrology and hamare jo purvaj hai our uh, muni parashar and uh, gemini they have taught uh, or rather introduced this uh, science of astrology in in our legacy and i believe in the the power of this vidya which which is jyotish shastra when we see any horoscope we see past and future and if we go to an astrologer if anybody goes to an astrologer and the astrologer doesn't have positive things to say for our future do we have any power in this life to control the effects of our birth chart yes 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 see astrologers uh, should actually say positive more and negative less but if they say negative more never mind and all the negative impacts can be nullified through devotion through giving that to the guru if you have a personal guru give it to the guru number 3 chanting mantras the mantra mein just again here because shiv is on top of all the navagrahas shiv is the lord of all the grahas so om namah shivaya is such a mantra which can pacify ill effects of any of those planets so it is the best uh, thing to do sit and chant om namah shivaya you know devi mantra for example navratra mein sab sunte hain maa ka baith ke devi ka vachan sunne maa ka protection hai sab sab tarah se koi bhi uh, devi devta jo hai uh, entities can we uh, by choice call upon them by mantras oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. ऐसा नहीं जरूरी है कि वी लुक इन टू आर हॉरोस्कोप एंड सी विच डेटी वी है अपना मन को जहाँ भाता है वहाँ पर अपना भक्ति बहती है थैंक यू सो मच गुरुदेव थैंक यू सो मच